Hey guys, and welcome to episode 2 of my explanation of what pipelining in redstone is. And, uh, yeah. So, first of all, I bet that a whole bunch of people are wondering what on earth does it mean to pipeline something? And the answer is, well, it's a bit difficult to grasp your mind around at first, so I'm going to use an example. Think of it like you're a factory, and you're trying to make something, and you're trying to make a lot of something in a small amount of time. If you have just, like, three people in an assembly line, then the first person does the first job, the second person does the second job, and the third person does the third job. So, let's say that uh, it takes a certain amount of time for each of them to do their job, right? But let's say that the first person finishes, they send, hand it over to the second person, and then the second person hands it over to the third person. You might wonder where I'm going with this, but if you think about it, the first person could actually start to uh, build the next machine or box of cereal or plastic bag that's going to go into the final product while uh, the second person is putting it into the paper bag, putting it into the box, or doing whatever. So that's basically the idea behind pipelining. If you have uh, a whole bunch of steps, you can send the next step into to uh, whatever is doing whatever is doing the work for you while the other one is doing a different step of the process. So for instance with addition, uh, you might do send the data through the first XOR, then it might go through the carry line, and then it might go through the second XOR. And then you have your three steps that you would want to have. So, yeah, that's sort of what it is. And the really nice thing about this is it makes it so that you can uh, go through stuff much faster than uh, you would be able to normally. Like, half a second for a normal redstone adder. Now, it's going to be like uh, a fifth of a second. And that's actually the fastest that you can get it. Because, uh, yeah. Anyways, key point. Difference between throughput and speed. Throughput is the rate at which uh, you can send new data into uh, something. So, for instance, a high throughput device, you might be able to uh, send data in at a rate of two ticks. So that would mean that each step would... Uh, take two ticks, so two ticks after you send the first piece of data in, you would send the second piece of data in, two seconds after you send uh, the second piece of data in, you would send the third piece of data in, etc, etc, etc. Speed is the amount of time that uh, it takes to do the entire process. So, in other words, uh, you might have a CLE adder that can actually pipeline. There's a few requirements that you do need to do to have something be able to pipeline. Uh, and, uh, sorry, I just completely lost my train of thought. Uh, let's see, where was I? Oh, yes, difference between throughput and speed. But it might take six ticks, whereas you have, like, a three-tick adder that could do the same thing. But you can throughput at two ticks, so, yeah, it's actually a bit faster in terms of that. Uh, is there anything else? Oh yes, uh, basically no pistons whatsoever, uh, pistons are going to make this entire thing derp up just because pistons derp up all the time and uh, also one and a half ticks is an odd amount of timing and it's difficult to, uh, well it's difficult to use pistons and uh, not have them meet the requirements that they need to. Uh, have in order to uh, be, ad be able to pipeline because if the pistons retracting then it could uh, only take it could be uh, an instant you could let the data through instantly whereas if it's uh, extending it would have a one and a half tick lag so yeah just because pistons are unreliable you're not really going to need to use them so I'm going to get rid of my sticky piston right now and so uh, yeah that's basically all that you need to know uh, to know what pipelining is at a basic level. 
hope you enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.